For this project, you'll need a bunch of construction paper. So you'll need two sheets of whatever desired color you want for the back of your card. You'll need one sheet of green, one sheet of brown, and one sheet of yellow. You also need a ruler, a pen, a glue stick, and some scissors. Start with your yellow sheet of paper and either cut out a star or you can use the template that I've included in the video and you can print this star on the sheet of paper. Cut it out. So once you have your star, you can set that aside. Now you wanna also cut out the stem of your tree. So it'll be the width of your ruler and then you're gonna measure two inches and just make a mark there. So now I'm gonna cut along this line and we'll use that later also so you can set that aside. So now we're gonna take the two sheets that you're using for the back of your card and some of your glue. Now if you're using actual stock paper that's thicker, you may not have to do this, uh, but we're gonna double this up so it's a little thicker. And when we're gluing everything onto this one sheet, it will go through. Um, and you can kind of see it on the back. So by having a double, it won't uh, show up the show the glue as much. I'm gonna use the leftover of my brown paper and I'm gonna go along the edges. Now I'm using the brown so that you can obviously see that it's glue is getting all over the place. Um, so it just keeps it clean. Okay, so we're gonna go along all four sides. And then I'm just gonna kinda do like a crisscross along it, um, just so it sticks in the middle also. So now you're just gonna line up your paper. And you wanna get it exactly the same. So I'm just making sure they're completely lined up. And once they are, you're just gonna press down. So now you can set this aside and just let it dry while we're working on the tree. So take your green paper and we're gonna first fold it in half. You don't need to crease this too much because we're actually just making a line so we can cut it. Okay, so we're gonna cut this down the center. And we are gonna end up using both of these sheets, but we're gonna start with one at a time. So what we need to do now is kind of crank this back and forth so it makes like an accordion. Um, there's kind of a fast way to do this. You don't have to spend a lot of time. Uh, just keep folding everything in half. So we're gonna fold that in half. Then when you open it up, you're gonna fold this in half. And we'll do the same thing on this side. And then when I open this up, I'm gonna fold this in half. And fold this in half. Okay, and if you fold these together, you can see this line here. So now I'm gonna fold this in half. So once you have them all folded in half like this, then you're gonna start folding those in half. So you'll just fold it halfway through those lines and you can see the lines here so you're literally just going back and forth um let's see if i can get this to not curl fold in half so you can kind of see like this gap right here is the same to the next line so i'm just going to flip it over and then i'm going to match that up to the next line and then when i flip this over i'm going to go halfway between this line and this line this thing doesn't want to stop curling so i'm going to go halfway which is right about there Okay, and then when I flip this over, now I'm gonna just go to that line. So you're just gonna keep doing that back and forth. And it doesn't matter if it's not exact, you just want it to be as close as possible. So then I'm just gonna take the back of my scissors and I'm just gonna make sure it's really creased. And then you've got this like accordion style. Now it's time to measure these. So we're gonna scrunch these back together. So we're gonna, I'm gonna put the measurements in the description so it's very clear, um, but I'm gonna go along with them here as well. Okay, so we're gonna mark a half inch, which is right about here. Okay, and then we'll move that up to the end. The next one is gonna be one and a half inches. So here's one and then a half. So we're gonna mark that, and we'll move that to the end. The next one is two inches, so here's one, two, and we'll mark that one. 
And then the last one should be about two and a half inches. Um, so it's just a little shy, but that's totally fine. So we'll set that one aside. We're gonna do two and three quarters. So we've got one, two, and then three quarters will be right there. Okay, and then the last one, if we measure this out, it should be, it's almost three inches. So this one's just a little bit over, um, which is fine, or you can cut this off right here. Now we're gonna take these and we're gonna cut them along the line. So this one is that little extra piece that we have, so I'm just gonna get rid of that so we don't get it confused, so toss that. And then we're gonna cut this line. So try to keep them in order if you can. So here's the largest one, then the next size. So then here's the next one. Okay, and the next one. And then one more. There we go. Okay, so we've got, these are the three longer ones and then it goes this size, this size, and this one. So now we're gonna start assembling our card. First thing we need to do is to fold this in half. So again, I'm gonna use my scissors to make a nice crisp line. Okay, I'm gonna open that up. And we wanna put the base of the tree first. So we're gonna take this and fold it in half, and then you're gonna fold it in half again. You can see the four lines. What you wanna do is fold the end one um, just in inside to that first line. So I'm just folding it in a little bit. And then the same thing on this side. So what you should have is the one in the center where we had it folded and then these two little end ones. Now the tree, I wouldn't worry too much about placement. You definitely, if you want to like figure out how much spacing you want, um, but this should be approximately one inch or so um, from the bottom. And all we're gonna do is just glue these end pieces. And you're gonna actually put it completely flat. So line up this center piece and we're just gonna put it flat on there and push down. All right, so we're taking the first long piece and we're gonna glue that. You want it to be this way in front of you, not this way, okay? So it should be facing straight down. Um, so I'm gonna glue this. And then what we're gonna do is, this should be about a finger's distance in between the, the end here, the bark or whatever, your stump. And then you want it to be just a little bit off the crease because when you go to open and close it, you don't want it to get stuck. And so just kind of push that down and make sure it stays. Um, so now we're gonna take the next one and we're gonna do the same thing. Make sure it's again facing this way, not this way. Okay, and we're going to glue that. So we're just trying to keep the same gap as you go along and leave a little gap off the side. Push that down, okay. Now I do recommend make sure that you get this uh, back in so you can see where you're lining it up. And just a little bit off the center. Okay, and give that a good push. And then we only have one left. Just make sure you hold it for a few seconds and make sure it really sticks. All right, so now we have to get them all to scrunch back down so we can close it. Um, but first what we're gonna do is we're going to get the top of these all glued and then try not to let them touch too much if you can. So the last little piece sticking up, you wanna go around and glue all of them. So now you're gonna have to use pretty much all your fingers and we gotta get these to stay down at the same time. So it can be very tricky and they're sticky, so that doesn't help either. So we're gonna get the next one down and the next one. So obviously I'm gonna run out of fingers here in a second. Try to get, oh, oh okay. See, and now I got this sticky part, it didn't stay. Now you don't have to do as many rows if you don't want to. So like if you only wanted to do five, but okay, so there I have them all down. Now the trick is getting this to stay closed. And you have to hurry because the glue is starting to dry. So we're gonna just close this over. And the main thing is to keep your hand so that they don't scrunch back up. So once you've had it pushed down for quite a while and you know for sure it's stuck, um, then let it sit for a few minutes. But once you open it up, you don't wanna pull too hard, but look how cute it is. So cool. So now we just have to add our star. 
And we're just gonna apply a little bit of glue. Make sure you have the line side facing up. And we're just gonna put a bunch of glue. Make sure you get all the points or else it's gonna lift up or fall off. You're gonna wanna, you can put this kind of flat. So try to open up just the top part um, like this so you don't mess up that. And you're just gonna put it right at the top of your tree and give that a good push. Okay, and then you can go ahead and close this back up and just pinch it so it's got that crease in it also. Such a cute custom idea that you can do. Instead of just giving everyone like a generic Christmas card, you can make these cute little like pop-up ones. So some people do this with a blue paper, which you can kind of see the tree trunks a little harder to see. Um, but I just like it because obviously Christmas is like red and, and uh, green. So I just picked it red. Thank you.